Hi guys, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Stropro Ultimate Wheeled Kit Bag. I've got the large here and the medium here. This is our fourth revision of this bag and it just keeps getting better and better with your feedback and our use. We think we've created the ultimate kit bag. So let's take a closer look what it's all about. So the reason these are called wheeled kit bags is obviously because they wheel. So if we tilt them back, they both function the same. Tilt them back and you can roll that back and forth, really smooth polyurethane wheels. I should also mention that these are replaceable if you ever put enough miles on this bag that you wear out the wheels. Um, one of the new design features is that we have actually recessed the wheel into the bag a little bit. It just provides more stability um, and it's a lower profile look for it. So like I said, these bags are structurally the same. Um, the main difference that you're going to notice is the height and you're going to get a couple more dividers in the larger bag here. But otherwise on the outside of them, they're going to be protected basically the same. So you have um, corner protection here so you're not going to rip the material as well as on the lid here and on the bottom. The other nice thing is that we have the protection on the back. So we have the runners and then the wheel system and the curb guard here. This one is actually really important. So if you're pulling it up and down curbs, that's a high impact area. So it's great to have that protection down there. And you can see on the back of this one, basically just the same. They just run a little bit longer there. So you're going to notice this handle on the top here and I'll tilt it down so you can see it. It's actually spring loaded and we do this for a number of reasons. Number one is to keep it out of the way. But number two is that it's a steel handle and it's very strong. Not only is the handle strong, what's even more important is the backing on this handle. So on the internal um, basically structure of this bag, we reinforce it with steel as well. With cheaper bags and you're pulling, you know, 50 pounds, you could easily tear a handle right out of the bag. That's not going to happen with the Stropro kit bags here. They're reinforced in all the high stress points. So that's really nice. Um, one of the other things that you guys were asking for is a secondary handle. So we've given you the other retractable handle right here, or I should say spring loaded handle. And we've also given you an extra plastic handle on here that's molded. And that just helps to be able to pull this bag, you know, if you've got it stuffed in your car or the back of a truck, you can grab on and pull it out like that. Not only do we have those two handles, you can see here that we obviously have a carry handle. And one of the things that we've done in here is we've reinforced this. It's uh, actually got a piece of metal right through here. So it's nice and strong and through this other piece here. It's not going to flex or hurt your hand if you've got a heavy load in here. One of the things you should always make sure that you do when you are pulling this bag is use the bottom or end handles. What a lot of people want to do is grab from one side of the handle and pull it down. That's going to put extra stress on the bag. Now we know you're going to do that anyway sometimes, so that's why you're going to see these rivets here. These go right into the structure of the bag. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but they're reinforced here and here and in all the handles on both the medium and the large, you can see it down there and it's extra stitched. So hopefully that's gonna protect your handle from ever tearing. One other thing that we added to the bags is a business card holder. So you can slide a business card in there to keep track of it. Um, so if you're traveling with this on an airline, you're not gonna lose it. You'll know exactly whose it is or what you've put in there. So let's open up the bag, but before we do, I want you to notice the zippers here. You're going to see that these are big, heavy-duty YKK zippers, which is the top of the line zipper. And this is a big enough zipper that you're never going to have it come off its track or anything. We've been using them for years, so you're not going to have any issue with them. It's actually the most expensive part on the bag, um, believe it or not, but we want to always make sure that they're never going to fail when you need them the most. Okay, so when we open up the bag, you're going to see we have this big inner lid area. This not only gives you some extra space on the top of the bag, but it's also a great storage compartment. 
So a couple of things, we've got these um, basically stretchy straps here. Normally they would be used to put an umbrella or something long in there, it's just gonna retain it in behind. Plus we have these other two huge mesh pockets. So if you wanna throw a controller or cables or whatever you've got that's loose that you need to contain so it's not bouncing around the bag, that is a great place to put it. You're gonna see these two straps that are on here, and these are basically just designed to hold the lid. So they are adjustable. You can adjust here if you want the lid to come up closer or if you wanna have it tilted back. Now, the other thing you're gonna notice right away is we have this big divider. This is going to be for stands that we can put on top. Now, you also can put this in the bottom of the bag for extra protection, but most of our customers like having it right on the top so you can put your light stands and contain everything on the inside. So you'll see right now that it's on the top and we can get rid of that if we're not gonna be using it. So let's take a look at these dividers and see how we can place those. Okay guys, let's take a look at these dividers and we have a lot of options to configure this bag. You can see we've got our medium dividers, our short dividers, our longer dividers. Where do we start? Well, it really depends on how you're gonna use this bag, but let me show you a couple of the features that we can do with that. So I'm just gonna pull a couple out here. So we'll pull these two smalls out and I just wanna show you that now we can create a long um, kind of corridor here if we want to put a long softbox. This is a 36 inch Rapid Pro Deep that we could stick in there. And just, I've got it a little bit tight here right now, but we'll just push that in there. So this will actually take up to our 47 Rapid Pro. Now just keep in mind that is not the Rapid Pro Deep. Um, that one's a little bit too long. And I'm talking about the large kit bag here. The 47 is gonna be too big for the medium, but you can run the 36s in there. So let's uh, pull out a couple other dividers. So these are nice actually, if you wanna run like a laptop or something, you can create a nice little laptop sleeve. But if you're not gonna do that, these work great to run your lights horizontal. So we'll just pull those out for a second. And again, I'm just sliding my fingers kind of in behind there and just using like a sawing motion it releases the Velcro a little easier. So uh, if we want to run the lights vertical, we can do that. Slide them up. We would just take a small divider then, put it in the side and go like that. You want to make sure that you don't have a bunch of play in there. So make sure it's nice and tight up to your light. This is an AD600 Pro um, that I'm throwing in there. But let's take a look at this divider. This one divider is a little bit unique and it's gonna come in both the medium and the large kit bag. We'll just separate it there. And again, Velcro is always fun to deal with. Okay, there we go. So this is the only one that's going to have a small divider attached to it. It just allows you to provide some structure on the bag so when that's pushed against the side it just reinforces it so things aren't going to be loose. Now what I'm going to do, take a medium here, put a little bit more structure back into the bag so now that stuff is not falling apart. And you can see right away there we've created a huge opening so if you add big lights or maybe even a smaller beauty dish or you even had a camera bag that you wanted to put in there that's full of lenses that gives you an opening to do that and you can keep it contained right in your large kit bag here. But what I want to show you is the ability to run horizontally with your lights. So if we add another medium divider, we can take our 8600 Pro, drop it in there again. And again, if we've got too much play in there, we could just take another small divider and fill up that gap so it's not gonna move around at all. So I won't do it now, but you get the idea, just putting that into place. Um, one of the other cool things that you can do with a small divider is you can use it as a cap. So I could put it, you know, kind of lower in one of these if I wanted, or you can angle them, you know, you can contain stuff like that, or even this light, for example, if I was traveling on an airline with this and I didn't want it to bang around, what I would do is take a small divider, 
put it down like this. So now that light is completely secured. It's not going to be bouncing up and down like that. So you've got smaller pockets that you can take things like reflectors and you can put them in like that. It's really nice. Um, that's going to prevent those from getting dented. You could nest them together and run them in a bigger compartment there or just run multiple reflectors sideways. But the options are really limitless, so we can run a light horizontal, we can run this, like as said, 150 um, vertical if we want. Just like that, throw a reflector in there. So you can see, you know, no matter what your situation is, this is going to work. And again, you don't only have to use this for lighting. You can throw different lenses and whatever you want in there. So if you happen to have a small bag or something that you're traveling with, you know, you can stick it in just like that. Fits perfectly and you can adjust that as necessary. Okay guys, so we have some studio equipment in there. Uh, we can take our divider, put that on the top, and now we have room for stands. And again, I wouldn't recommend leaving this big gap here. I would put another divider in the end, but just to show you guys real quick. So the large kit bag will take our nine foot stands and you can see there's even a little bit of extra room that you've got there. Um, you can easily put three stands in there. In our medium kit bag, you can put up to our seven foot air stands. And again, I mentioned about that lid having a little bit of a recess. This is where that comes important because you can see that this stand is actually higher than the bag. But when I close this up, you can see it's no problem, fits right in there. So when you close up your bag, you want to just make sure that you grab these two side straps and just kind of guide them in there. Make sure they're tucked inside before you zip that up and then bring our nice heavy duty zippers around. And there you have it. We're ready to go. So there you have it guys. That's everything you need to know about the Stropro Ultimate Wheel Kit Bags. We've got the large and the medium. If you've been taking individual bags in and out of shoots for years and you're just sick and tired of it, trying to find where things go and putting it back and you've got all these bags to manage, this is really going to help you in that situation. Not only does it organize all your gear, it also protects it and the best thing is you're going to look really professional rolling in with a nice kit bag. It's going to up your image and hopefully lead to more work in the future. So check out all of the options that we have in these bags, either through the medium or the large. We also sell these in several of our kits. So check them out at stropro.com. And until next time, I'm Jesse.